Hello folks, my name is Anton, I'm from Ukraine and today I'm gonna review Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Sorry for my English, but I try to do it the best. And it's gonna be a review of new hit, I guess, because every new smartphone from Xiaomi became a hit, if we are talking about Redmi series. But it will be interesting for me to complete this gadget with Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 Pro, the old-fashioned bestseller, since the hit is one thing and the bestseller is another, so in this review we'll be complaining these phones. And consider, I use this smartphone a couple of days. I mean that I put away OnePlus 5T and transfer all of the app in here. Folks, and no one sends this smartphone to me. It's not same kind of engineering version, I bought it with my own money in China. And in fact, I don't really care what kind of gadget you are gonna buy. My task is to tell you everything in detail or share the experience of using this smartphone. And most importantly, the the pros and cons of this gadget. The review will be long, sorry about this, so you can see the interactive menu in the description below. While unpacking this smartphone I was a little disappointed. The thing is that at the presentation Xiaomi told everyone that our budget smartphone is a better than your iPhone from a thousand dollars. But today I'll try to be reasonably with this review by forgetting the dog they will try to sell me. And I wanna tell you something in advance, I'm happy with the results of this test, but Redmi Note 5 has disadvantage and you need to know about them. So let's walk through the appearance. What can I say here? Because this side is similar to the iPhone 10, and this also the face of Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus. And it seems to me Chinese people have to refuse to copy or clone someone. They really can product something of their own. And basically copying limits your development, as history shows. IPS Matrix here is 5.99 inch and for these days I was using, I was pleasant with this. You need to understand, before I using OnePlus 5T. And what about the inner stuffing? Here what we have, 3.5 jack at the bottom and by the way in Redmi 5 Plus it is on the top. The speaker is also on the bottom and at the top we have a very important for many infrared port. Same side is the volume control with the power button, on the other side a slot for two SIM cards or one SIM and memory card. But do not forget that there is no type C, only micro USB and it was infocatable for me, since all my devices at home are lady equipment with this necessary Type-C. And what I will say now, in comparison with Redmi 5 Plus, there will be much less plastic on top and bottom. By the way, in Meizu there is no plastic at all of price like this, it's all metal. And about iPhone camera on the side, see what's happen if you put the smartphone on the table. Ok, let's talk about safety now, scanner and face unlock, with which Xiaomi bursted at the presentation. And about scanner, I will not say anything, it is on the back and I'm a big fan when scanner on the front. About face unlock is a complete suck, and I don't know why, at the moment of recording this video I'll turn it off, because it worked just terrible. Firstly, we need ideal lighting condition, secondly, if you put a hood or a cap, you can forget about the face unlock. It worked for me the three times out of ten attempts. Farmer is sucked. And since we talk about the farmer, I'll say that I'm shocked by Xiaomi. They already released a smartphone with the same processor in India. One month has passed. And everything bugs, graphics bugs, some application crashed. I click on YouTube and it suddenly started Chrome. And app of Chrome is worth far away from YouTube. To be honest, I suffer a lot. Of course, when I swift from OnePlus 5T to me, UI, I saw some of the things that I probably missed. Also, I loved the new temples with Swift, the back 
all application and home button. Very convenient. But I will say again, glitches and bugs and crashes, it's something that really get me crazy. I cannot say that now I enjoy Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Of course, it will take 3 or 6 months and everything will be ok. Xiaomi adapts the firmware, but at this time when I record in the video, everything is very sad. And now we have just Chinese version, when you have a Chinese language and English. But few weeks later the global version come out and I advance you to buy it. Why? First of all, you will have a good firmware. And secondly, Euro plug immediately. Ok, let's talk about battery. Here we have 4000 mAh. Generally it's very good. And I will just tell you my story of using this smartphone in real life. For example, I test the smartphone 24 hours, from 7 am to midnight. As a result, I play the game for about half hour, I watch video on YouTube 2 hours or more, and then 30 minutes driving in my city with turn on GPS navigation. Of course, I'm recording video, took a lot of photos and constantly using the smartphone all day. Installed some apps. And as you can see, I loved this very much. And then I have 7 hours of screen work. And yet, smartphone have 22% of the charge. Next day I had about 55% of the charge in the morning and I did not loud it very much, but I used it like a main smartphone with two SIM cards. And at the same time it asked me for charging only by 8 pm. Let's talk about quick charging. If you take a original charger, then you get only 25% of half an hour. And it indicates that Xiaomi refused to put the real quick charger in the box, because as in Redmi 5 Plus there is fast charging, you can see this wonderful icon. But when you use a charger from Mi 6, you will get 34% in 30 minutes. Honestly, I cannot understand this Chinese company. What I want to say is that Snapdragon 6036 is about 10% more glossiness than the 6025, which Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus has inside. But at the same time, it's more economical. 10 or 50% than Snapdragon 6030 in Redmi Note 3 Pro. Battery tests show us that result. As you can see, everything is similar, and I think in every task day you will not see a lot of difference between these smartphones. And in this test, you will see that new processor is better. Playing video on YouTube, Redmi Note 3 Pro give away 10% and Redmi Note 5 just 6%. That means that in same case, new smartphone will be better, and I think this smartphones will be live longer in the day. Ok, processor, and I'll make a pretty loud statement right now, because Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 Pro and Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. You can see that in this phone 6036 Snapdragon, new processor, and in 3 Pro old processor, but I don't see much difference between them. Yes, very important role playing by 4 GB of RAM, and very important that it's DDR4X, its new generation of RAM also adds some more speed, but again, if you use use the smartphone every day and let's say you will have a 4 GB of RAM in Redmi Note 3 Pro, I think you will not see a different. Of course, geeks will consider me. Their 13 nanometers processor is better than old one. It have a more untutor. Dear friends, this is everything is synthetic. 90% of people using smartphone for real life, social media, video, playing games and I don't think you will see a global difference between these smartphones. And let me tell you this, I use this smartphone on a daily and it's really quick, even considerably all the farmer bags. For example, games I install it very quick, and in fact I could keep a lot of tasks in the memory, and they were always available for me. And of course, big role in this case, I can give new DDR4X memory, and in my case I have 4 GB of RAM. Here is a speed test of this app. Redmi Note 5 with a 4 GB, Redmi Note 3 Pro and Redmi 5 Plus with 3 GB. As you can see, a new processor and new RAM wins. 
Okay, and what about games? I played World of Tanks in maximum settings with shadows and this smartphone did a pretty good job. But FPS was 30 or 55, I did not see 60. Xiaomi saying to us, don't forget about our good quality of firmware. However, I remember that Mina 3 on Snapdragon 66, which again, he don't have good quality of firmware. In first day, it showed 50 or 60 fps in this game so about world of tanks game on this smartphone and in january it shows pretty good result also i play in pubg and you will not believe me but i put high settings of graphics and i was able to play without any problems of course minimum lags was there but i spent several hours to play in this game and xiaomi redmi note 5 again very good job Ok, let's talk about camera. This probably the most interesting thing in this smartphone for me. And when I repacked this phone, I was disappointed, because at the presentation Xiaomi very often complains this smartphone with the iPhone. They said that they're better, but when I buy Xiaomi smartphones and compare them side by side with another smartphones, I see big difference with Xiaomi cameras. But generally, quality of the camera is good if you're taking picture from Instagram or your family story. I can give 20 hundred bucks dollars for this smartphone and this camera. Bokeh is good and I love the HDR mode in this camera. And now small comparison and you can see that quality of Redmi series is growing and I like it. Ok, and now let's compare this smartphone with another good smartphone and its location with good lighting and you can see it's doing good job. But Xiaomi Mi A1 going to yellow color. Ok, let's crop it and you can see that Xiaomi don't have a good job. With which iPhone they compare this smartphone on presentation, I don't know. Ok, let's go to another location, it's in parking and you can see that the lighting is not good. And again, in presentation Xiaomi said us that in bad lighting you will have a good picture, but after crop you see that we don't have it. And about bokeh, I think in this price you will not have a good bokeh, you will have some mistakes and it's electronic. But however, for Instagram or just for you, I think these fonts and Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 doing the good job. Ok, and now let's talk about front camera. And I want to concentrate you as the three important points. First of all, that they have a flash. Second, AGR mode. For this price, I think it's very good set. It's example HDR mode and mostly it's helping to see the background. But HDR mode is not aggressive, it's ok, it's something like in OnePlus 5T. Ok, bokeh, you see that I don't sleep a lot, bokeh is ok in front camera. And it's small comparison with Shmeizu M6 Note and OnePlus 5T. And I can say that Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 doing good job, but not so good like OnePlus 5T. Ok, and now comparison with Xiaomi Mi 6S electronic stabilization. Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 doing very, very good job. Electronic stabilization, I think it's perfect for this price. And comparison with OnePlus 5T and uh, I think Xiaomi for $200 doing very, very good job. And now you will hear it, uh, quality of the recording sound in my Russian language. Uh, специально возле трассы нахожусь, чтобы вы могли слышать посторонние шумы, да и вообще просто как записывается звук в этих двух смартфонах. Еще раз напомню, что... Okay, guys, what I can say at the last minute in this video. First of all, sorry about my English, not perfect, but I will try to do the best in future. And how you can see, Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 is very good smartphone for this price. Yeah, it's not perfect, it's not like iPhone 10, but for this money you will get a very, very good quality. Okay, thank you very much and see you in the next video.